Hola, bienvenidos, and welcome to Mexico City. We just checked in last night to this beautiful Airbnb apartment in the Condesa district, which is one of my favorite places to stay in uh, Mexico City. So my good friend Mark Porter, who hails currently from Chicago, has joined me, and we wanted to give you a quick tour of what you can get for about $65 a night in one of Mexico City's best neighborhoods. Um, now, the, the rate that I'm talking about, about $65, is when you also factor in the taxes, service charges, and cleaning fees. So it, I think the list price was about 45 or something, right, Mark? Something yes. Like that. But then it adds up, so I'm giving you the total price so you know what to expect. And plus it's COVID, so it, isn't it a little extra cleaning for COVID? Some, that's true, yeah. I can't remember if this particular apartment had that, but some of them do have an extra COVID service fee, just like some restaurants do now in New York City, at least. I, don't, I haven't seen it yet in Mexico City. But now here we are in the living room. This is a compact but very well, I think, laid out uh, two bedroom, one bathroom apartment in the Condesa district. So this is the living dining area, obviously. Uh, the decor I find is very fresh. Uh, we love this painting. That is really nice, yeah. That's kind of gallery quality. Nice lighting fixtures and a nice big uh, dining room table, which is good because you can eat and also work here because I'm working remotely and Mark has his laptop too. So this gives us lots of room to spread out. One thing that you frequently see when you check into Airbnbs <laughs> nowadays is uh, there's a disinfectant spray left out prominently and antibacterial gel. But it's COVID, it's COVID theater because the gel is almost gone well, and there's almost. absolutely nothing in the uh, spray. Well, Try to spray that. At any rate, but yeah, so they, they do leave it out. That's so, fine. So that's good. Um, it's not an apartment with the, with the most amazing view, but it's still, I like the big windows and it lets in a lot of natural light. So that's a plus, right, Mark? Yes. It's also very quiet. Um, which is, which is a plus two. And sometimes when you think you're gonna be staying in the middle of North America's largest city, it's gonna be noisy, but it's it's not. Actually, last night it was so warm. We we just didn't sleep super well because we needed fans because it was, it was warm and quiet. So um, more of the beautiful decor here. And then come with me, come with kitchen. me. Kitchen. We'll show you the kitchen area. Um, Mark, you like you love kitchens, right? How do you like this layout? It's a nice layout. I like it. It's just you know, for us being from the United States, we usually don't have kitchens in a separate like room with a door. Right. Which I actually like, though. I know everything on HGTV is about like open concept, open concept, open concept. But I don't care about open concept. I think sometimes it's good to have a division. So I actually like this layout because I don't like the idea of walking into an apartment and seeing everything that exists in the apartment. So personally, I actually like this. This is a very, it's a, it's a nice modern fixtures and everything. Um, this is a bedroom, uh, the smaller bedroom is right here. This is Mark Porter's bedroom. And um, the colors are nice. I think everything goes well together. The, the bedspread and the, the pillows and all that. The master bedroom is here, which is a little bit larger, of course. And then it has a little extra bonus of having a nice little, um, balcony here which you can have coffee on or hang out with um there is a lot of natural light that comes in here too and also it's nice at the end of the day because the, with the sunset um so this is pretty nice too it's a nice place to hang out and an, a, another plus of this neighborhood is that there are tons of really good restaurants right mark so we had we had some some good food last One, night yes, yes open air a lot of open air places which during the pandemic, obviously that's very necessary. Um, we can give you take a quick look at the bathroom. And I already realized I forgot to lower the bathroom seat, the, the top. And, uh, so and you I, didn't flush. And didn't I'm flush. kidding. <laughs> it's disgusting. But no, this is the bathroom. So again, it, it's all very consistent style, I think. Wouldn't you say, Mark? Yeah, they did a really good job with finishes. They did, yeah. The color scheme, the, the overall design, everything ties in well. Um, it has a, a, shower, a shower stall. This is the one bathroom. And that's pretty much it. So um, it's a we're on the fourth floor of, I think maybe it's a sixth floor building, elevator building. It does have parking, which we don't need um, because we don't need a, to rent a car here in Mexico City. So it's overall, it's a great location. I love the location. The price is reasonable. Um, it's very quiet. Uh, we're just going to go buy fans today because fans are important. And I guess that's it. Anything else, Mark? Nope. Okay. Stay Although I got my finger in, in once or twice. You got your finger in the shot? Yes. Oh, I noticed that. I'm okay. sorry. We might have to do it again. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned and, and follow me also on latinflyer.com. Have a good day.